what's up guys uh those who are watching on amazon hello those who are watching on my youtube channel welcome to the reset button i'm dave struction the movie worshiping anime loving video game nerd and uh we're doing a little bit of a different type of video on the youtube channel today and if you've seen my videos on amazon um over product reviews this is typically what i do um but yeah uh i wanted to do a review over this controller because there's not a lot of information out on it because i had to search the internet to find out um basically find out some stuff that i needed to troubleshoot but more on that later but let's just go ahead and get into the review so this is the box it comes in this is the pick tech wireless gaming controller um, they have a wired version as well um that's the front of the box it uh has you know the controller has the artwork it's actually kind of really cool looking um, it has the different um, platforms you can play it on, PlayStation, PC, and Android. Um, it's a great controller. I, I, you know, it's good looking at least. Um, but we'll get into the more review on the controller. But this is the box it comes in. It has a controller on the back. Some manufacturing mumbo jumbo over here. Um, skew, all that. And then platforms on this side. And that's the overview of the box. This is what comes in the box. You know, obviously some packaging stuff so it doesn't get messed up, you know, among transit and all that good stuff. Comes with a controller and a charge cable. You know, pretty basic cable, you know, rubber, outer, coating, you know, pretty standard connectors, um, you know. But uh, yeah, that's, that's that cable, so, you know, whatever. Pretty standard cable, but that's not really what I want to talk about. I want to talk about this guy. Okay, so um, this is the uh, outer exterior look. It's actually a pretty slick, pretty good-looking controller. Um, this is actually uh, I got this from my PlayStation Four. I really because I, I because I got big hands, you know, you know I I got sausage fingers, and I like the layout stick layout from this as compared to the to have them both right here um and uh, this is just uh, it's more comfortable for me and and again I, I before i went to playstation and got married i um have i have both the original xbox and the xbox 360 i also have a playstation 2 but i've always liked this stick layout better it's just more comfortable for me because i got big hands but let's go ahead and turn this thing on and look at some of its features so I have standard home button, you know, you got your share button, your uh, option button, your touchpad. Um, it, you know, has the light bar at the top, which is great. It's, you know, it's a very uh, PlayStation uh, staple um, for the PlayStation 4. Your action buttons line up, which light up, which I think is really cool. Um, it's not the traditional colors for um, a PlayStation controller, but um, I still think it's really cool. If you zoom in here, you can see that uh here we go not only does it have x square triangle and circle but it has a b x and y the b is not really showing up very well over here on this but um i still think this is a very cool controller i like the red underneath here on the analog sticks um even the d-pad is really comfortable i mean it's not really a pad itself it's kind of all one button but um, it's still really comfortable, um, you know, whereas the traditional PlayStation controller, the, the D-pad kind of, kind of digs into your thumb and especially if you're playing fighters, you know, like Mortal Kombat's and your, um, uh, Street Fighters and stuff like that, it kind of, you know, it really hurts on the hand, but all those who play fighters really know that the best way is to use the stick. And since the stick is right here, this makes your movements a lot more, um, accurate and I mean, for me anyway, but, um, I enjoy this quite a bit. Um, I, I mean, the triggers are really, really solid trigger. It's, it's, it's good pull. Um, you got your bumpers. They got a nice click to them. You know. I mean, none of this. This is actually really build, really good build quality. None of this feels any flimsy. It's just a solid control and it's really comfortable. Um, you know, it's got, uh, like I said, your home button. It's got a turbo button, so you can program all these guys over here for your fighting games. Um, and on the back, it has a um, 
a microphone switch for your headset. Now, that's going to get into my only gripe about this controller. <sighs> this is this controller is very picky about what headset you can plug into it and the microphone will work. Uh, so don't be plugging any cheap headsets into it. Um, you're going to have to be playing, you know, plugging in like, unless it's the officially licensed chat headset that PlayStation makes, don't be plugging in like your f five and below headset into this and expect to get your mic work. So, um, and I've been using a Corsair, um, headset recently and that works just fine. Um, but you want to be plugging in like a high end headset into this guy right here. So, um, yeah, that's, uh. That's my overview of the um, PicTech um, wireless gaming controller or wireless gaming pad. They have a wired version too, which has a lot of the same features. I just I didn't want to get that one because, well, I didn't want to have the hassle of you know being tethered to the system. You know, I this is this is twenty twenty after all, and uh, not nineteen ninety six. Uh, where we have to plug our controllers in like like animals. <laughs> anyway, but yes, uh, I would give this a 4 out of 5 stars. It is a great controller, um, especially for the price. I think I paid like 35 bucks for this thing um, or something like that. Maybe maybe even paid like 30 I don't know. But 30 or 35 It's It's a good, for the price, it's a great controller. Um, I enjoy it. Um, again, that was my only nitpick. Uh, however, if you if you get this controller and you have issues with it, go to Amazon and talk to Pick Tech direct Pick Tech directly instead of going to Pick Tech's website. I did not have a good experience um, trying to troubleshoot uh, the you know the uh, microphone issues I was having. Um, so, uh, but, uh, yeah, um, again, uh, it's a great controller. Um, if you like this, um, layout and you don't want to spend $200 on the, um, the officially licensed elite controller, um, that, uh, PlayStation makes, which they have a very similar design, um, then this is a good buy. Uh, and also if you don't want to spend 60 or $80 on a officially licensed PlayStation controller, this is a, this is a good option. But that's my review. Um, hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, thanks for watching. And as always, remember, if I getting you down, this is not your final form. Grab an extra life, and you can always hit the reset button. Have a good day, folks.